Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome back to another episode of Euro Truck Simulator 2. Today we've ditched the Mercedes, we're going to be in the MAN TGX, is it the TGX Classic? It's the TGX 18320, it's basically a Bobby Basic spec. MAN truck. Uh, I've not customised it, I've not done anything with it as you can tell, but we have got the fantastic trailer and it is in the Joe Head Group livery. So uh, we've done a little bit with it, it's almost uh, a little bit customised, but yeah, in terms of actual driving, the engine is the slow spec that comes with it. Everything is just, oh my god, that's quite loud isn't it? Uh, yeah, everything is just fairly basic. So uh, we're in Manchester because that's where our depot is. I'm just going to stop in the middle of the road because, you know, we can do that. Uh, we're going to go on Cargo Market because we're using our own trailer and just see what we have available. Now, it's not going to be the longest of journeys today because we never usually do. Uh, we've got Perth. Well, we've, we've sort of done Scotland, haven't we? Let's have a look. Birmingham. Ooh, what about Swansea, down through the heart of Wales? Yep, sold. There we go. It's not the most uh, that we're ever going to make in terms of payment per mile, or pound per mile, but uh, it'll be a nice drive. I'm absolutely sure of this. All right, let's just nip across around the roundabout. There we go. It sounds good, doesn't it? And to be fair, it's, uh, it's fairly nippy, but then again, don't forget, we've got our trailer on, and it's got nothing in it. That indicator's uh, it's quite potent, isn't it? It's potent, the word... It's quite loud. Right, let's uh, let's just nip in here. There we go. Right, so cargo market, and we are off to Swansea. It's the lowest paying per mile job. Oh, look, we could have like an extra load of money per mile if we went to Aberdeen, but we've done that. So uh, yeah, this isn't all about the money that we're making. It's not all about the money, folks. Uh, it's about having a nice drive. And, uh, you know, well, yeah, like I say, nice drive, enjoying the journey. And we've not been to Swansea together yet, have we? So, uh, yeah, let's absolutely do that. Uh, let's have a look. Can I, uh, uh, let's see if we can remember how to do it. Oh, not that way, to the way. There we go, round a bit there. Lovely, straight back on that should, if all goes well. Oh, no, I've cocked that up a little bit, I think. Have I, have I not? That'll do. Go on, you'll accept that, surely. Hey, right. Stop the engine. Pop it in neutral. Load the cargo. Hopefully we're going to get a nice daytime drive. Oh, it only took half an hour. I'm going to say we've done a lot of night driving as of recently. So, uh, as of recent, so let's have some nice daytime driving. Now, it's going to take 5 hours and 37 minutes to get there. Did we actually have a look at what we were carrying? We're carrying graphite grease. Ooh, lovely. Not, of course, like bacon grease that can be used for cooking. I wouldn't imagine you'd want to uh, fry anything in graphite grease. Right, full steam ahead. Does this have cruise control? Yes, it does. Excellent. Hell, he's gone round the corner on two wheels, hasn't he? Right, so yeah, just while we're plodding along, let's have a look at where we're going. So, we're coming out of Manchester to the west. Oh, take that off. Don't want to be adding any more of those flipping things on. And we're going to be going all the way down through the heart of Wales. No towns en route. It is literally Swansea next stop. So, uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll see how we get on. I think it's going to be brilliant. We'll have a... Uh... Oh, is that another MAN there going across? He's a bit more... Uh... He's got a bit more about him, though. He's got a little hood thing on mine's flat pull just right up to that line let's go 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 it's a good job that van hasn't committed oh we could be having a road traffic collision five hours and 34 minutes God, it's a long way isn't it although we're doing at tea time so we should have some nice daytime driving I'm hoping that the traffic's not too bad today I can't imagine that the uh, the commuter belt down through uh, deepest darkest Wales would be uh, would be the best uh, would be the worst even. Don't strike you as sort of a commutery hub type place. Actually, this doesn't simulate rush hour traffic, does it? It's not like Fernbus, flipping heck, everywhere's rush hour traffic on Fernbus. Compared to the Mercedes, it's a very um, vibrating lorry. Say vibrate lorry. It, uh, it it does vibrate quite a bit, doesn't it? It's uh, you kind of get that deep. 
You hear it there, particularly in the higher revs. Definitely. Right, okie dokie. I don't actually know, sort of, we're, we're heading towards Hollyhead and then down, aren't we, really? We've been down this road quite a few times. This is going to be a very slow run, I think. There's going to be a lot of slight gradients like this that the truck struggles to get up. What do we got in terms of, it's only 16 tonnes, that's not the heaviest. Oh, look at that, the next rest stop is just two minutes before uh, the uh, before we get there. We're going to cut straight across the roundabout. I know that's naughty, but that's quite far behind us, that car. Yeah, you should go the full, full doodah of the roundabout, and nipping out in front of you as well. Look at that, we're just dangerous. Simone M. £2,675. Cheers for that, Simone. We need to watch her for when she next levels up. Because, uh, just cutting the corner there, flipping heck. Yeah, when she next levels up, we need to change her off ADR, because we don't want her to level up any more ADR now. Oh, we've not been this way before. Heck, will we make it under? Just about. God, this is like we're on Planet Coaster. Come on, truck, you can do it. Oh, you can't go that way. Can't go backwards. Oh, we can't come from this direction. Hopefully that's something that they're going to add in in the future. And a bit more road ticked off in yellow. That's what we like. Just better uh, have a little look little glance over in that mirror, make sure there's no trucks coming, or cars, or anything else. Quite a quiet road down to Hollyhead by the looks of things, the motorway today. Lovely and quiet. If we, uh, if we have five our way out of this. Oh, we're actually coming off more or less straight away. I thought we'd be on longer, to be honest with you. We need to uh, just nip across. Sorry, I totally cut that guy up, so we'll give him a double flash on the old hazard lights there. Oh, what's this? Oh, heaven forfend. Right, well, I'm really sorry, but I need to come off there. This is a problem. Fancy landing a helicopter on that slip road with your Laguna flipping police car. Right, now it's going to take seven and a half hours. How on earth is that the case? Have we got a uh, have we got a better way we could go down through Aberystwyth? I think that's probably going to make us quite late. Um, right, okay. Yeah, I'm just a little bit apprehensive. Right, sod it, we're going. This is illegal. This is completely illegal. I'm sure that car just beat Taz. But we're going this way. <laughs> I've got places to be. I've got a very strict schedule. I'm just really hoping none of these cars coming down change into this lane. Yep, that's it. Go to that lane. This is now a bi-directional piece of road. And you know what, I'm not going the wrong way around the roundabout, because, you know, there's only so much illegalities that we can cope with in one video, so we'll go the correct way around the roundabout. Look at that. There's nothing wrong with that. Apart from everything that's wrong with that. There we go. Straight into the lane like that. I, I think that that's some pretty uh, resourceful driving, to be honest with you. You can still hear the helicopter now. Fancy landing a helicopter on a motorway slip road like that. That's just irresponsible. Right, off we go. So, we're going all the way round the roundabout. Has the helicopter gone? Oh no, it's still there. You can just about see it still. Oh, there we go. Oh, we didn't get fined. We just got through in time. That's good. And we're on uncharted water now. New roads. We like new roads. So it's 60 all the way down. That's good. I 
Well, of course, I'm sure there'll be some random speed camera bits. Where we'll be slowing down to 50, because that's uh, it's what this game does. Well, look at this. Huge, great big bridge. This looks very European, doesn't it? Is there a bridge like this in the UK? I wouldn't have said there was. Come on, keep going. We're going to make it to 56. And then, of course, the whole truck's going to, because uh, of the limiter, of course, which is present in Pro Mods as well. This isn't Truckers MP where we can blast down here at 70 miles an hour. No, sir, it's not. A couple of motorway services there. We could literally be anywhere in England right now, couldn't we? You wouldn't think that we were in the heart of Wales. Right, where's this uh, this little road here coming off? Going. We can't really see, can we, to be honest with you? Never mind. We'll drive down there at some point, I'm sure. It goes to Cardiff and Birmingham. There we go. I bet that's a much more interesting road to drive down, to be honest with you, but never mind. We're gonna we're gonna stick with this. I didn't know there was a motorway that ran down through the middle of Wales, an M53. Does that actually exist? Because we drove to Tenby, and I mean, we live in Cheshire, and there was definitely no M53 when we drove down there. It was very much windy, windy roads through the through the heart of Wales, so to speak. Maybe this is a lot further over, though. The, um, the kind of scale and proportion of the map really kind of throws you out of whack. Oh, here we go. This is more like it. Yeah, because obviously this is not 100% realistic, is it? You, you feel like... I don't feel like we've gone that far into Wales, but then... I guess we're quite far over. I'm, I'm not sure, to be honest with you. Well, we're back down at 3 hours and 48 minutes. So that's good. 7 hours it was going to take. I'd have needed a rest stop. The delivery would have been delayed. We can't be having that. Obviously what you saw on there would have never happened in real life. It just wouldn't, would it? You, you'd never have a lorry that just decide to do a U-turn and go the wrong way up a slip road. But the good news is, is that this is not real life, so we can sort of do what we want. Where are we going? Welcome to Wales. Croeso i Cymru. Gumru. I'm sure that was a G. Is it not Cymru with a C? Should really go back, shouldn't we, and have a look. But what we are going to do is we are going to just nip into the photo studio because this is a lovely, lovely shot of us just racing along the road there. Look at that. Oh, it's nice. Never really been a huge fan of the MAN lorry, but it is really, really lovely to drive. Really lovely to drive. Oh, we can only do 50 down here, can't we? So we'll, uh, we'll plod along at 50. Hopefully the cars in front will disappear off. Yeah, it's certainly a lot bulkier than uh, than the Mercedes. Uh, the Mercedes Actros is a lot more kind of slender, isn't it, in comparison? See, those cars in front aren't going to uh, whiz off without us, because you can see there's a few lorries as well, so everyone's travelling at 50 mile an hour. Well, less than 50 mile an hour. Let's not forget the slightest of hills, and we very much slow down. Got a long tail back behind us, flippy neck. Thing is, I have not had this modded so it's uh, fitted with a retarder, so when you're going downhill it'll just carry on speeding up, which is uh, is not good. Oh, we've got, we've got traffic stopped. 
Oh, it's a level crossing. Oh, wow, there's a cargo rail. A Bombardier tracks whizzing across. And if I remember rightly, they never have a lot of carriages, do they? Nope, no, they do not. See, I know that the people at, um, at what is it, Pro Mods are probably, uh, probably European, aren't they? Let's face it, because there's a lot more work that's been done in Europe than there is that's been done in the UK. That said, there is still work that's been done in the UK. You can clearly tell that. See, the, the yellow barriers are flashing, so should we not stop? Doesn't seem like anyone's that bothered, does it? Oh. Oh, my lord. Right, there we go. Are the, are the barriers not going down? There we go. Really well modelled barriers, I like that, because they do sway about when they do that. And they bob as well, awesome! Shouldn't it be a 175 that's going over though, rather than uh, rather than a Bombardier tracks? Oh, another one! Oh, your pantograph's down, son. Mind you, there's no wires, is there, sir? And he's on the correct side of the line as well, so that's good. Oh, I love how they go up, like, not in sync. That's awesome. Don't like how the yellow keeps, uh... Oh, he's just gone through some trees. Deary me. Nobody else is going to get through, are they, at this rate? The, uh, the amount of time that I'm taking to get over here. Wow. Hold on to your hats, everybody. 23 miles an hour. Twenty-one miles an hour. We can't make it up the hill. Come on. Twenty miles an hour. I have my foot flat to the floor here. Nineteen. Why won't you change down? You're in eighth gear. There we go. This is why we should have stuck with the Mercedes. That had a romp up here because that's got a bigger engine. Let's get above 23. Yes, 24. It's a new land speed record for Wales. What's this coming the other way? Generic truck on truck simulator, everybody. It didn't have a badge on. Most of them are, uh, are badged, aren't they? Have I accidentally limited us to 30? Why are we... Oh, there we go. I guess when you go into the low gears, you're very much in crawler gears, but couldn't we have done with the crawler gear to get up that hill, seeing as we were literally crawling? We might have been able to crawl faster. Look at this. This is very much the, uh, the sort of road that I remember belting through Wales on. Very, very much, and we um, we we pulled in at uh, we we pulled in because anyone that knows me will know that my bladder is literally the size of an acorn. I'm terrible at getting in a car, and obviously before you go on a car journey, you go for a tactical wee, don't you? That's just that just makes sense. You go for a wee because you're going on a long car journey. Like we once went to um, to stay down in St Ives, and we were in the car 15 minutes. I was like, I need a wee. Um, and my other half was absolutely fuming because we'd literally only just got on the motorway before I was announcing that I needed a wee, so we had to pull in at the service station. Uh, the Stafford services, I think it was, which, uh, given we only set off from Cheshire, uh, with that amount of toilet stops, it would take us a while to get there. But yeah, we were, we were in the heart of Wales, there's no services, and I needed a wee. So um, we pulled in at this farm, and it looked actually very, very similar to this where we are now, so it was on the left, and there was a long track going down, although there wasn't a railway there. This looks almost Bus Simulator 21-esque, but there was a long, long drive with like a little fence either side, and it went down to a farmhouse. So we pulled on the road, um, the, the, just, you know, the little track, and we were going to get out and we in a bush. Yeah, because, you know, classy. And um, <laughs> anyway, the people came out of the house, and we were a good 
you know, we were a good distance away. We didn't pull on the drive and knock on the door or anything daft. Um, but yeah, he let his dog jump over the wall and it was charging down this drive. So we all jumped back in the car and ran away. Um, or drove away, as it happens. And oh, it was scary. You think the Welsh people are friendly, but oh, put me off for life, did that. There you go, that's, that's my uh, little anecdotes about the heart of Wales. Frightening people there, I tell you that. I can't believe we're only 67 miles away and it's going to take absolutely ages to get there at this speed. In fact, 20 miles an hour, it's going to take three hours. I know we're at 35 now, but we don't know how many hills are coming, folks, so let's not uh, count as chickens before they've hatched. Round we go. Yep. Oh, bit of downhill. That's what we could have done with earlier. Just to, you know, build up our speed. Again, looking very European at this time. But I guess it's better than the stock map, isn't it? There is a link to uh, Pro Mods in the description, as always. There's a link to the game if you want to buy it through the Steam Store. It's fairly cheap compared to what it used to be. And I would say it's still the best truck simulator about. And of course, if you too want to make your own Joe Ahead livery, there is uh, a a little uh, hex code guide on how you can do that. I want to see your screenshots in the Discord, as always. We're doing 63 miles an hour. Although this truck in front's clearly doing about 60, isn't he? So he's speeding as well. Oh, well, there's another helicopter flying over, look. Looking for some road to land on to inconvenience us all. Oh no, it's a plane. Right. Well, don't you land on road, whatever you do, for goodness sake. Where are we? Landovery. Clandovery. That's uh, probably more of a clan, isn't it? Like clan, do no. Oh, he's not turning left. I thought he was indicating left for a, a long time. It's not. It's a little flashy thing on the back of his... If you've got a little flashy thing on the back, do you not think you should maybe... Oh my god, there's more trains. What's this? Oh, that is distinctly... Uh, that's distinctly not UK. It's one of those things with the big, uh, the big cushion things on the front. Oh, they're an ugly unit, aren't they? Again, look, another lorry. Unbranded. So it looks a bit M.A.N. but no branding on. I don't think I've ever seen a truck like that before on this game. There we go, we'll put the, uh, put the cruise control on. Flying along. Flying along. Okay, we're speeding a little bit. Yeah, we'll we'll uh, have a little break in. I forget, like I say, no retarder is there, so it don't keep it at that that nice 50 mile an hour when you're going downhill. It'll roll faster. It's not what you need, is it? Well, we've obviously come down here before, because I think I went to, is it Pembroke Dock down the end and got the ferry over to Ireland? I definitely did that at some point with uh, with a couple of my friends. Where is it? Carmarthen? No, not Carmarthen. That's somewhere... Oh yeah, Carmarthen. Yeah, there is Carmarthen. That's no Swansea. I'm getting it confused with Carnarthen, which is, of course, a completely different area altogether. Right, down the M4. God, can you believe already we're in South Wales? But for those of you that said, yeah, but that's because you were speeding, Joe. Rude.
that must also be the start of the M4, because it was a roundabout, wasn't it? There was no slip roads or anything. Nope. Hang on, where are we meant to be going here? Oh, I'm in the wrong lane. There we go, Swansea. Just nip across in front of me, colleague. Looks like those two are stuck anyway, doesn't it? They are stuck. There we go, Swansea, round we go. I don't think we're going to make it through these lights. Because if you've noticed, all the green lights on the roundabout, or all the traffic lights on the roundabout go green at exactly the same time we've committed anyway. Uh, so, like, everyone on the roundabout's green, and then everyone coming onto the roundabout goes green, and, you know, it's, it's just... Oh, what's that? Oh, that's a train going overhead. It's quite loud. Have we got the window down or something? Of course, you don't get the train traffic on multiplayer, do you? Which is probably why I didn't notice it before. Araf. Oh, hang on. Traffic lights. Way. Don't want to be uh, charged with writing off this Skoda in front. Goodness me. Oh, and there is speed cameras, so best behaviour, everybody. I think, to be honest with you, out of all of us, it's only me that needs to be on my best behaviour, isn't it? Because I'm the one that's always getting uh, flashed by the speed cameras. Committing traffic offences. I don't know. Right, well, welcome to Swansea, everybody. That's not actually bad timing, is it? We normally aim for about half-hour videos. I thought that going to the south of Wales would take us a little bit over that half hour mark, but uh, how wrong was I? There we go. Right, as always, we'll... Uh, we'll. Oh, hang on. I forget double-clicking. I just didn't think I clicked it correctly. So yeah, we'll, we'll park it where they need it for maximum points. Maximum pointage. And look, that bed indicator's filling right up. So we're going to need to go for a snooze soon. So what we'll do is we'll just sort of drive at an angle. Like that. And there we go. And then we'll go the other way. And then we'll, we'll un, unturn. Some call it straightening up. That was a disastrous park, but it seems to think that that's okay. Yeah, okay, it's not that far off, and the pallets are all there, aren't they? Engine off, and unload. There we go, look at that. So we're making seven and a half, eight and a half, nine, nine and a bit more, nine and a half we'll go with a thousand pounds for that. Well, there we go, that is where we're going to leave it for today. Manchester through to Swansea. I really hope you enjoyed the drive. Let me know what you think of the drive, or thought of the drive, in the comments section below. If you've enjoyed the video, do, of course, click the like button. It's always appreciated. And, of course, if you haven't already, I keep saying of course, of course, of course, uh, do consider subscribing if you haven't already so you don't miss out on any future Euro Truck Simulator. Other than that, as I say, thank you so, so, so much for watching, and hopefully I shall see you all next time. Cheerio! Goodbye for now.